my husband cheated on me and it went viral. You'll meet the other woman. The one James slept with on his fifth anniversary is here. Speaking with her face to face is something that you want to do. Yes. Come on out. There's a lot that she doesn't know. Then say one and let's start the conversation. When I went to the bar, I didn't go up to him because I thought he was married. He is married, you do realize that, right? Did you believe he was separated? Yes. What man would invite a woman to their house if he still lives with her? A cheater. <laughs> you should put that energy on your marriage and not me. Well, you don't need to be given her therapy. Why is she so mad at me? Well, you were sleeping with her husband. Let's do it. Have a good show, everybody. Here we go. This is a safe place to talk about hard things. Stand by. We'll count you down. Today is going to be a changing day in your life. Five, four. Get ready to take care of you. Yesterday, we met Janae, whose video of her sobbing about her husband James' infidelity went viral. James said 1,000% he would not have cheated on her if Janae was giving him more sex. In fact, he blamed her for sleeping with another woman on their five-year wedding anniversary. Now, Janae says James pleaded with her to stay with him, and when she did, she discovered there was not just one woman, but two. Today, Janae comes face to face with woman number two. Here's what happened yesterday. So this is what being cheated on looks like. My husband cheated on me. He didn't want to get caught, but he did. I went through his call log because James was acting a little off. I wrote her and she told me that they were just good friends. He told her that he was divorced and that I lived in a different state and that there was someone at home watching the kids that was a nanny, so that was me. I was a nanny. He wouldn't leave, so I got on a plane and took the kids and the next day I was gone. Janae says James pleaded with her to return home, but when she did, she says her woman's intuition helped her uncover another woman. I text this mysterious number and this is the exchange that happened. Hey, do you know my husband, James? I keep seeing this number on our phone bill. The reply was, not trying to be ugly, but I think you should ask James. I don't want any part of what this drama looks like. Good luck with all that. He gave you diamond earrings. Yes. On your anniversary. Yeah. And right after he gave them to you, he left to go be with another woman. On your anniversary, you had made plans with woman number one, but you ran into woman number two. So do you really want to save this? I, I honestly don't know. Before the cheating, he's had addiction issues and PTSD, like things that are really hard in a marriage, but I've stuck it out because I do love him. James says he wishes his wife's devoted online followers knew that she is partially to blame for his adulterous ways. The thing that needs to be addressed is that if we would have been having sex regularly, this would not have happened 100%. This feels like a big bait and switch. It, it really sounds like you're basically the victim here. She conned you. I, I wouldn't say that. Um, well, you did I say that. I don't like to call myself the victim. Obviously, she's the victim in this situation. I didn't just go out and cheat because I wanted to go cheat. I mean, there, there are things that led up to it. You're saying the reason you did this is because of her, not because of you. It's not like he wasn't getting sex. It's just not the sex he wanted. Why were you in a bar on your anniversary? I'd find that a little hard to sell around my house. It is. It's horrible. And I should have said, oh, my God, that's my anniversary. I should be staying home with my wife, but I didn't. So you had a decision to make either disappoint your date or disappoint your wife. So you thought, I'll keep my date. Right. I think I was just trying to build a wall between the two of us that made it easier for me to do what I was doing. I knew what I was doing was wrong. You, you sent some text to woman number two. All of the 40-something moms in the cul-de-sac just happened to come and tan every time I do the lawn. It's so easy to be a player, can get laid whenever I want. Really? Yep, that's embarrassing. This it's is you manipulated, do they buy this? This is more of an inflated <laughs> ego. Uh, you so, think? Yeah. Then I read, this is 1,000% due to Janae, and I think, well, 
maybe couple of percent sure. have to do with you being immature, Absolutely. insecure, and egotistical. The girl he cheated with, Chelsea, yes, I'm gonna say her name because there's millions of Chelsea's, is mad because super sleuths on here found out who she is and her last name and where she works. And I guess you guys are contacting her. Recently, she. Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go
and her friends called me and left me an awful voicemail. Guys, what the f is all you want? Get your f marriage or f in it. Well, Chelsea is here, and she claims Janae is determined to ruin her life. She says she came here today to set the record straight. So, Janae, before I ask Chelsea to come out, I want to be clear, speaking with her face-to-face -face is something that you, you want to do, right? Yeah, I tried to talk to her day one, and she didn't come to my house and said she decided to egg it, so. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Chelsea, come on out and join us, please. Chelsea, have a seat right here. I would get up and shake your hand, but with COVID restrictions, we can't do that. So, thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. um, you know James, of course. We know that. Mm -hmm. But have you met Janae before in no. person? No. You've never met? No. Okay. I tried. I got rejected. Okay. No, and actually, I haven't met him because I'm learning a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel like you were conned in this situation? Yeah. Yeah. And what is it you're learning that you didn't know? You're saying that you haven't met the real him, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, because I think he's downplaying a lot of this. Um, he tried to spend every day with me. Um, I had turned him down multiple times, told him I didn't want a relationship. I wasn't for sure what I wanted. Um, there's, there's a lot that she doesn't know. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. So when you guys had sex a second time the next day, your son was there. So it's funny that you're saying that like he's trying to like play this up and make him look like a different person. Do you think that was appropriate, having sex in your apartment while your son was asleep? Um, do you think it's appropriate to do videos in front of your kids and try to get my famous kids were off not, of your kids? My kids were not there. I'm talking. Do you think, do you think it's okay to do that or to, to bash me and put me on the internet when you don't know me? I said what happened in the situation, so no, that wasn't bashing other than facts. It's, it's not all facts. It, what isn't a fact, Chelsea? Let's, let's open this floor up. What there, isn't a there's fact? There's a lot of things that aren't facts. Then say one and let's start the conversation. I'm, I'm not going to do this with you. Well, talk I mean, to me. Here? No, we'll, t we'll talk to me because if, <laughs> if he's misrepresenting yeah, this, then set the record straight because okay. I think you're entitled to do that. Um... He, he was very pushy. I, I did know that he was with you um, beforehand. He didn't really talk to you about, about you after like his first or second haircut. There was, I never heard anything else. I didn't hear about your anniversary. I, I didn't hear anything. And when I went to the bar that night, I was celebrating my new business. He was there with three girls. I didn't go up to him because I know he's married or I thought he was married. Um, yeah, I thought. He so is, he is married. You do well, realize that. Okay, let her I'm, finish. I'm just... Okay, let her so, finish. I understand that you got a lot of energy about this, but I do want to hear what she has to say because it gives me insight into what you, James is doing out you there. You should put that energy on your marriage and not me. Well, you don't need to be giving her that's, therapy. That's just talk to me. I, uh, I was at the bar that night celebrating, and I thought that one of the girls there were, was his wife. Um, he finally came over, and I said, Oh, you know, are you going to introduce me to your wife? And, you know, because I thought that was her. Um, I said I was waiting for you to come over and, and show, you know, introduce me to her. He's like, we haven't been together in months. And I was like, oh. I said, well, why haven't you told me? You come in and get your hair cut all the time. And he said, well, I just didn't want talk to talk about it in front of people. And I was like, okay. You know, didn't think anything weird about that. Um, so I had no clue about her. And the fact that he was trying to spend so much time with me, and he was spending a lot of time with me, um, I, I didn't see a red flag at first. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't start seeing red flags until, like, the text messages. He's ignorant. Um, I, I just wasn't attracted to any of that. So when he started that, I kind of started pulling away from anything with him anyways. Mm -hmm. So he was putting pressure on you and wanting to be with you all the time. Very much, very much. He even said in some of the text messages how I ignored him. Um, I wouldn't give him a time of day. I kind of was doing my own thing, and he was upset with that. Okay. And did you believe he was separated? Uh, yeah. Yes. I, I would never, just like I told her, I would never come second best to somebody else. I also have kids. Um, I want a whole family, so I'm not trying to be the other person. 
So that wasn't your intent to break up this marriage or to be the other woman, his side? No, sir. I don't understand why she wants to destroy me. Well, you were sleeping with her husband. You did know he was married. He was not legally divorced. That and is who still... asked for divorce papers when they're sitting at a bar? Monday. I gave my mother an ultimatum. I either speak with Dr. Fail or I was done speaking to her. Is she educated? Yes, he has his master's. Happiness just entered into my life through my ear. He must have skipped fifth grade because that's where they teach grammar. Everything he's told you is a lie. This is a scumbag piece of trash that is stealing your money and breaking your heart. I don't believe it. That's Monday. Then on Wednesday, a boxing champ's biggest fight. He's in denial of all of this. I'm here to get better, not to get criticized. Do you not like yourself? Why do you deserve to be? He even FaceTimed me at his house multiple times. And I, I thought if somebody lived with him, then obviously I would see him. He picked up every time I tried to FaceTime him, every time I called. Can okay. I a... well, yes, what do you want to say? Um, that's not accurate because the messages between her and James talk about me leaving for Arizona, and that's after they had already had sex. No, no. Yes. It literally shows them, and you sent them to me. It's not like I made them up. No, I, I know I sent them. You wanted to know what happened, so I sent you everything. I've, I've, I've tried to be cordial with you. When you told me you wanted to know what happened, I sent you everything. You started getting mad and obsessed with me for some reason. Obsessed? I've never but, talked to you since August 4th. Okay, so why wouldn't you delete posts where people post my first and last name, I'm where not I delete work. anything anyone posts. People write negative things too. I don't delete them. But, but I let people say whatever they want to say, Chelsea. But you have whether deleted Whether it be negative stuff. or positive. You have deleted stuff that made you look bad. No, I have not. Yeah, you have. I have the screenshots. <laughs> Do you believe that she may have been manipulated by James? Um, to an extent. I believe that maybe she believed that he was separated, but she sure as hell knew I lived at the house then because her messages talk about me leaving for Arizona and Chelsea writes back and says, well, it's your house too, you can go in. Okay, how, how does that work if you thought that we didn't live together? That, that was about, it was a text message about somebody being there. He said that she hired somebody to take care of the dogs or something. And I was like, why would she hire somebody to take care of the dogs while she's gone? If you're staying there, why can't you take care of y'all's dogs? So that was my comment. Why are you sitting in your car scared to go in your house? If she knows that y'all are separated, you know, and y'all aren't together, um, he had told me that she knew about me. So it's, I didn't know. Was he telling you how to avoid the security cameras? No, 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 no. no. That, it was the night that he's talking about. I was out with my friends at dinner, and he told me to come over. I had been drinking. I did not end up going to their house. When he told me to park my car outside of his driveway, that was a humongous red flag for me to not go there. And, and, and you that didn't was go my there. done situation. Yes, I, I did not go there. I've never been in her house like she says I have. Um, I've never, I've seen her bed because of a video chat, but I've never been in her house. Mm -hmm. I've never. Is that true? Yeah, she's never been over to the house. Mm -hmm. You said you wanted her to come over one night, but it never happened. Yeah, that night, uh, I believe um, she was out with friends, and I remember it going where she asked for my address. I gave it to her, thinking she would, and then told her to park across the street. Yeah. Um, so yeah, text. she does ask for the address. It's in yeah. the text. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, he he invited me over. He had invited me over before. Um, that's why I. Who? What man would invite a woman to their house if he still lives with her? I mean, so I didn't. Uh, a cheater. <laughs> well, I mean, that you got to have some make to did, do that. Did Did you egg their house? No, no. I have a. I, Chelsea, no. you don't know any other people we in have no the okay. state of Texas. Okay, but how, how many together. other women were, were there, James? None. How many? Yes, there was. You cheated on her with how many? That's not true. I talked to one, wo okay. one woman before that. And the that. other woman had okay. no idea where I lived, and she has talked okay. to me about it No nonstop. one knows where you live. Did some wow. of your friends egg your house? No. No. I mean, on your behalf, whether no. you knew it or not? No. So it just who was, was like that, Who left that message, that voicemail? That wasn't you. I can tell no, it's not your no, voice. No, it wasn't me. It's, it's, 
probably one of my friends that are upset that they they, they will the not. So you know who left they, here, Chelsea. I'm <laughs> You're talking. The background well, I'm not asking for a name. No, that they will not take this. I've asked multiple times to please take. They're calling my work. They're sending reviews. I mean, I don't understand why she wants to destroy me, but she doesn't want to mm -hmm. destroy her husband. He's the one that did it. I'm not married to her. I, you know, he did it. I haven't looked at So why is she so me. mad at me? Well, you were sleeping with her husband. I, I know. I understand. <laughs> really? There is I, that. I mean, I understand that, but I gave her everything she asked for. I gave her the text messages. I did not know he was married. You can't keep saying that because you did know he was married. He was not legally divorced. That okay, is and who still... asked for divorce papers when they're sitting at a bar? Chelsea. Like, come on out. You... Okay. <laughs> Chelsea. Well, what she's saying is well, she thought he was... You took him home the first night, Chelsea. That's okay. a little classless. Okay, you were you dating. Me. You started talking to him when he had a whole girlfriend, right? No, he didn't. They were he actually broken up. Me. She didn't live he in the apartment. Well, then he lied to you and about maybe, that. Maybe you're salty because his other one was a hairstylist, right, James? And she was so jealous of her? There's I a mean, lot of hairstylists. My yeah, best friend's a hairstylist, so I don't have any. Well, there have been on, there have been online posts put up that say Chelsea's and with her last name will sleep with your spouse, and when confronted, will attempt to arrive at your house and beat you up. Immature woman who ruins lives and haircuts. And mm -hmm. another post had your full name. That's so hilarious. Uh, will sleep with her clients. Bad for bad business. So they're trashing you online mm -hmm. and okay. hurting your, your yeah. business. Well, is James still contacting Chelsea? We're going to find out after the break. I'm not blaming her for the sex. Well, what do you blame her for? I don't blame her for sleeping with him. I blame her for egging my house and then still contacting me a month later. I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to help you. This is my last resort. The time is right now. No sweat. And to anyone who thinks, why are you sharing this? Because I'm alone right now in this state where you don't know anybody. As of right now, my video, the original one, is at 3.6 million views. I have not seen the video. I refuse to see it. I'm broken. I hurt so bad. It really does kill me to see her like that. But before the affair, she would post things that were good and were more like redemptive. But I don't think it's really fair that she talks about herself in redemption situations and then talks about me in a bad light. Janae likes to say that she's a very honest person, but this video is more of her being vengeful. Well, James says Janae posting about his affairs is just another example of her going online to share his shortcomings and her redemption story. Um, you, you say you've had people posting negative things online. Have people criticized you for posting all of this and this series of things about? Not that. They're like, don't blame the other woman. And just to be crystal clear, since I'm now on air, I don't blame her for sleeping with him. I blame her for egging my house and then still contacting me a month later after I had moved on from the situation. That's what I blame her for, and that's what the, the next post was about. All I was doing was telling my story. I wasn't trying to, um, like, get at people. I just believe people reached out after the one where I'm crying, and I had thousands of messages. And it was people who, kids who have been with parents who are divorced. It was people who have cheated, people who have been cheated on. And everyone's same response for the most part was, it's good to know the story so it doesn't happen to somebody else. So that's why I chose to tell my story. And the only negative comments I get are, don't blame, don't blame the other woman, but I'm not blaming her for the sex. And I've never said that. I just told the situation as it took place. Well, what do you blame her for? Um, I blame her for... Egg in the house. Egg in the house. And you don't know that she egged the house. I know she egged the house. Um, the phone call. I, I'm new to Texas. No one knows where I live. I have no friends or I wouldn't have had to make a video because I felt so alone. No one knows where we live. Even, I haven't even had play dates at that house yet, so I haven't even had an opportunity to invite, like, mom friends over. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing I get really upset about is I don't like non-honesty. And even in the voicemail that her friend left me, she's telling people that he was single. That is not single. Single means you're divorced. 
And that to me is a lie. And seeing the messages where she's talking about, he's talking about me going to Arizona. And then they're talking about like how to avoid the camera. And then her writing and saying that she would be even more mad if she knew what, what, what else you've done. Like you obviously knew I was, I existed. I wasn't, I wasn't away somewhere like in a faraway land. <laughs> you knew about me. That's what agitates me. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously I knew about her. They have kids together. I mean, so I know there's another person. You two have something in common. Yeah, James, the yeah. line. Yeah, that you've both been lied to. Yes. Uh, by James. Absolutely. And you recognize him as being manipulative, but you don't give her any quarter for being manipulated by him. But there was no manipulation when she was sending those texts knowing that I was leaving the house after they had had sex. That means that she knew that I was there. Has James contacted you recently? Yes, yes. and she's actually reached out to somebody I was dating. Um, I didn't, she, I hasn't saw, she hasn't stopped That's it. herself. So when did James last contact you? Um, he actually, I think it was maybe like not even a week ago. It was about the show. Um, he actually has reached out to me multiple times and I've asked him to stop. He's reached out to you multiple times? Yes. What about? I mean, just about her wanting blood and, uh, you know, having it out to get me and she's going to ruin me. And then he, you know, had a little joke. Don't you love the internet and what it can do to you? And, you know, they're just pretty... This is a sick situation. Why are you still reaching out to her? Why are you I'm gonna contacting pop, I'm going to pop in right here because I actually have asked him to reach out to her recently after her friends called me and then kept texting me no. nonstop. Honey, I get 200 or more texts a night, and you're talking about your little one call from somebody that we've I've asked you to take my stuff down. I'm not going to take it down, Chelsea. And you don't have to because <laughs> in the end, in the end, it would be fine. It'll be fine. I have, a, I have my own police report. I have my own stuff going on. So she'll have to answer to the stuff she's doing. Uh -huh. You can't totally bash somebody and, and do all that and think it's okay. I don't, though, Chelsea. I'm not the one writing reviews. But, I'm not the one calling you. I'm not the one texting on. you. You're agging it on. How am I egging it on? Have I said because in any of my are. videos, hey, guys, can you call she, and text Chelsea? He not told once. me a long time ago one of their issues was not only just not having sex, but the fact that she's trying to get famous so bad that all she does is videotape her kids and she's always just doing the most so she can get famous. So she, she got notice over a video of her crying and making herself out to be a, a victim when I, she's not the only victim in this situation. It's just crazy that you would think that that's okay. But I believe in karma and I think and this I believe is it. In, yes, honey, and I believe in karma too. So you'll get yours. Battle of the Sexes with Dr. Warren Farrell. When only one sex wins, both sexes lose. Men. You said men learn early on, in order to be a man, they must repress their feelings. Masculinity. How do you define toxic masculinity? And the facts of fatherhood. You're not just a wallet. We need you as an emotionally intelligent part of the family. Fill in the blanks. You say boys with less involved fathers are more likely to become delinquent and end up in prison. Available on Apple Podcasts and Stitcher. Closed captioning provided by... She says she's merely <laughs> updating yeah. her followers when she posts stories about her marriage online. But is she also inciting people to harass yes. Chelsea in the process? But here's my thing. My husband's main name is James, and her name is Chelsea. If you don't want people to know your names, don't cheat. So, Chelsea, the girl that my husband got with, came to my home where my babies were sleeping last night and teepeed and egged it. And the girl he cheated with, Chelsea. Yes, I'm gonna say her name because there's millions of Chelsea's. She knew that people posted my first and last name, my address to my work, um, my phone number. She knew that. You know, I mean, it's just crazy that you would think that that's okay and that I deserve that. Mm -hmm. I'm not married to you. I'm single. I don't think you are, but I believe in karma, and I think and this I believe is it. In, yes, honey, and I believe in karma too. So you'll get yours. Okay. So yeah, I mean, you will. This is not healthy in either direction. I didn't want this drama 
I mean, that's what I told her in the very first text. I just want you to leave me alone. That's what and I want. I would like you to do the same. James, come on now. You think it's okay for my number to be posted? You think what you did is okay? You I think I knew I that you were that, married? I don't did agree with that. I know you were married. Girl. What? Did I know that she was living in the house and you were married? Uh, yeah, you knew no, she was I there. Didn't. You knew no. when she went to Arizona. Okay, James. You knew when she came back. Okay, Because I told you. Okay. Yeah, but you had said that y'all had been separated for months. Y'all haven't had I told sex you we were since your son was since y'all made y'all son. Um, there was a lot of stuff that you lied about. There are things I lied about. Yes, but... a lot. And so you're making me out to be a bad person when you I'm know. I'm not making you out to be. Yeah, a yeah, bad but you think it's okay. You think this I, is okay. I don't think it's okay, and I've told her I don't think it's okay she... for her to post online. Yeah, we don't agree with that. We don't. No, I mean it should be embarrassing to y'all if you're going to make your marriage work. You're posting your husband's infidelity on the internet so people can judge and yes and, i think that people who cheat should be called and out i think they should know the whole story and they should know what you've done too it's what? i mean you have you have harassed me you have let this go on for months now hey, you keep saying you... i've harassed you chelsea and i'm sincerely sorry that you feel that it's okay. me doing it to you but i'm not sending you those messages i'm not calling you're not you. reaching I'm out not to somebody i'm you. talking to and, and telling them that I'm still him. sleeping with your you husband? It. Why I did it is because you guys left me a voicemail, and what I did was is someone called me and said, Chelsea has a boyfriend. So instead of having a conversation with him, which I did not want mm -hmm. to do, I added him on Facebook so he could see for himself that I'm not saying your last name. I'm not saying where you work. I'm not giving information. None of that. So why did That's you why lie I and say him. I was still messing around with your husband when I haven't? I, I never said that. that never well, said here's that. a text exchange between Chelsea and James. Uh, Chelsea says, stop texting me. This is harassment. I have reported this issue to the police. I would like the videos on all forms of social media taken down. She got my message, and if the posts aren't took down, that's harassment. James, she is not going to take them down. Internet is a bitch, isn't it? She didn't get your message, and I'm not telling her anything. Is there an adult in the crowd here? <laughs> not the only victim. Don't speak to me ever again. I will never speak to y'all. And y'all can go on with y'all's lives. Do you feel like you owe her an apology? Monday. I gave my mother an ultimatum. To either speak with Dr. Fail or I was done speaking to her. Is he educated? Yes, he has his master's. Happiness just entered into my life through my ear. He must have skipped fifth grade because that's where they teach grammar. Everything he's told you is a lie. This is a scumbag piece of trash that is stealing your money and breaking your heart. I don't believe it. That's Monday. Then on Wednesday, a boxing champ's biggest fight. He's in denial of all of this. I'm here to get better, not to get criticized. Do you not like yourself? Why do you deserve to be hurt? That's what... My parents both divorced when I was about four years old. My mother was around a lot of bad people. My father was also in unhealthy relationships. As a child, I saw a lot of things I shouldn't have seen. The lack of a role model definitely influenced how I deal with my relationships today. Up to this point, I never thought my childhood really affected me that much, but now I'm sitting here and I'm starting to have second thoughts about that. Well, Janae says she believes that because of James' lies and infidelity, divorce is certainly seeming like a clear option. Mm -hmm. James says that regardless of whether he can convince Janae to stay married to him, he needs to deal with the issues from his past so he can finally be the man that she deserves. Now, this bickering and all that's, that's going on, um, Look, this is y'all's chance to resolve this, and I'm going to excuse you here in just a minute. Is there anything you want to say to Janae or Janae and James that you think is constructive to bring this down to a, to a conclusion? I mean, take the stuff down of me. If you don't... You don't have to like me. You don't have to agree with what happened. I, I don't think you deserved what happened. I didn't deserve. You're not the only victim. I have been a victim in this situation also. Take my stuff down. Don't speak to me ever again. I will never speak to y'all. And y'all can go on with y'all's life. 
I mean, that's all I'm asking for. They're trying to ruin my business and ruin me. And, or letting people do it isn't any better. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you owe her an apology in any way? Never. I'm not her husband. Uh -huh. So you, you don't feel like... Does she, she owes me one also. She well, owes me. You just said no, you no, don't. No, I'm, I'm, I won't. I haven't done anything. I, I didn't know he was married. I, I, have, I have left this alone. I thought it would disappear, and it hasn't. Okay. It, it's chasing me. Okay. All right. Is there anything you, you want to say to her before I excuse her? Nope. All I ever wanted was an apology, and I just was told I wasn't going to get one, so that's she, fine. Yeah, because she wants one on the... I mean, she said, I want you to videotape an apology, this and that. No, I'm not doing all that. Well, you did sleep with her husband. And, I mean, and, and she yeah. has totally bashed me, and she has no clue who I am. I think you have accountability here, and I think you have to own that accountability. You're not blameless in this situation. No. Thank you for being here. I'll excuse you so I can talk to this couple. Look, you have some independent decisions to make here. Yeah. And your decision, you have to make a decision, you have to make a decision. Mm -hmm. And they are independent. You asked me straight up, uh, can a marriage survive infidelity? Does that happen? Do people have cheating in a marriage, and does it survive a year on, five years on, 10 years on? Do people survive this sort of thing and live happily ever after? Um, and I'm going to answer that question for you. Uh, right after the break and tell you what the options are and they're going to be very, very clear. Not do it without you. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to watch a live taping here in the studio, go to drphil.com and click on be part of the audience and select in studio. And if you would like to be in our virtual audience, select attend virtually. We have a good time here, don't we audience? All you need is a computer with a camera and high-speed internet. We'll see you soon. I have some advice here, and um, I, I don't know why you have done what you've done or are doing what you're doing. I, I, I think there, we go through life and it writes on the slate of who we are. I think your childhood is written on the slate of who you are. I think uh, people way underestimate uh, the impact of neurologically and psychologically of these multiple deployments into war zones. Uh, it causes changes in the brain that can affect, it can hijack the pleasure centers, it can hijack the impulse control centers, it can create PTSD. So I'm not offering that as an excuse for your conduct or behavior, but I'm telling you, if I were you, I would want to get a thorough investigation of where I was mentally, emotionally, neurologically, because you're, you're doing things here that are pretty self-destructive for you and for your family, and you're not even very good at it. Um, I mean, really, you're pretty transparent about it, so that means you're not having good forethought, good foresight. Your conduct is way below your intellect, which means there's probably impulse control and maturity issues because you're smarter than you're behaving, which tells me there's probably a neurological component involved here. Um, as to you, can a relationship survive this? Absolutely it can. But that requires that both parties mm -hmm. are fully transparent and fully acknowledge what they're doing. When James was caught, he lied. Uh, he denied what was happening with the first woman and the second woman. He has yet to own this. He's justified it versus being remorseful. Uh, you know, he said, this is 100% due to you. He's shown a disregard for your emotional well-being and your physical well-being. Oh, 
you know, you've, you've had cancer twice, you know, what, and, and, and had kids and all this. It's, it, it's inconvenient. I really? Know. It's sad. I, I mean, that's, that's a terrible lack of empathy. He's saying thousand percent it was her bait and switch. Uh, you're in therapy. He's continuing to contact. You leave and go out of state. He gets on a dating site and continues to contact other women. So it's not like, well, hell, this has gotten to the point that I've lost my wife and kids. I need to sit down and take stock of myself. And that suggests narcissism and self-centeredness and arrogance. And the question that comes to my mind is, do you want all this pain now or you want to spread it over the next 40 years? Because uh, it's going to be one or the other if he doesn't do something serious yeah. to find out what's going on with him and intervene in what's going on with him. So you, you just decide, I'm going, to, I'm going to deal with the pain now or I'm going to suffer it for the next 10, 20, 30, or 40 years because the best predictor of future behavior is relevant past behavior. And he has shown you who he is. And listen, every relationship you lose is not a loss. I mean, if you get a divorce, at least you're not the woman he's out there embarrassing. Don't forget to follow and subscribe to my podcast, Fill in the Blanks. This week, the behavior panel experts break down using body language and nonverbal cues to get to the truth. You don't want to miss this. Closed captioning provided by Dr. Phil. Visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter. You'll get weekly updates, live strategies, and exclusive video that you won't find anywhere else. Plus, on drphil.com, you can see sneak previews of upcoming shows. Log on today. James, you need to be asking yourself, how's this working for me? And it ain't working for you at all. You've, you've pissed off the women you're running around with. You've pissed off your wife. Your marriage is collapsing around you. This isn't working at any level, right? Right. So and you need to ask yourself why, because you're smarter than that. I mean, seriously, pure intellect, you're smarter than this, right? If you were counseling a friend, you would say, buddy, <laughs> you, you, you're not right. very good at this. You right. need to have a better approach to this. And you right. need to say that to yourself and say, why? I mean, what is broken here? And you said, maybe I need to take a look and see if I've got some open wounds, some immaturity a neurological issue here. You, you need to get to the bottom of that, or this isn't going to work, or the next one isn't going to work, or the one after that's not going to work. And I'm not trying to be harsh with you. I'm trying to tell you the truth so you know what questions you need to ask yes, and get the answers to. And unless and until he does that, the chance of this working out for you zero. is zero. Yeah. That's sad. Because but he's I mean, saying, I, yeah, I did it. It's bait and switch. She drove me to it. What can I tell you? unless he does something serious to figure out what is making him do such immature, have such immature choices, he's going to continue to have immature choices, and yeah. you need to protect yourself from that. I agree, and my kids. And you need to ask those hard questions, and you need to get to the bottom of it. And you're a vet, and thank you for your service, by the way. Aside from everything else, thank you for your service. And they... <laughs> They owe you some answers. They, they owe you some answers, and you damn sure should get them. Yes, sir. And I'm not trying to excuse your behavior. I'm just saying you are entitled to some answers, and you should get them. And in the meantime, you need to protect yourself until those answers are, are out there. Yeah. Fair enough? Fair enough. Okay. I want to thank all of my guests today. For more information about today's episode, log on to drphil.com. If you want to be in the audience or you have a story that you want to tell on the show, go to drphil.com. Uh, I really think the Internet's a wonderful thing in many respects. I think it can also be very toxic. If I were you, I would unplug, at least take a break for 30 days and